Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our biology lesson. The topic is cell physiology. So today we are going to discuss the role of diffusion in living organisms. So we are going to look at the role of diffusion in living organisms and in this case we are asking ourselves how is diffusion important in living organisms and when you talk of living organisms we are asking ourselves how is it important for example in animals and also in plants. So one, the first importance or the first role of diffusion is in the absorption of materials. Absorption of materials. We will give examples here. For example, plants need to absorb mineral salts from the soil. In that case, if the soil has a higher concentration than the concentration that is inside the plant, then the mineral salts will be absorbed by diffusion from the soil. So in this case, we can say that plants absorb mineral salts from the soil by diffusion. if the concentration in the soil is higher. If the concentration in the soil is higher than in the plant. Or than in the root hair cells of the plant. So we have seen that is one way in which plants absorb mineral salts. Note it's not water but mineral salts. And that one only happens if the concentration in the soil is higher than the concentration in the plant. Number two, still on the absorption of materials, let's give an example now of animals. And we can say that animals absorb digested food. Uh, animals absorb digested food, uh, e.g. something like glucose, amino acids, from the ileum into the bloodstream into the bloodstream. So we are saying that also diffusion is important during the absorption of digested food from the ileum into the bloodstream. And here we are saying that in the ileum there is a higher concentration of digested food than in the blood. So diffusion will take charge there. Now the second role of uh, diffusion that's number two, is with respect to gaseous exchange. Gaseous exchange in plants and animals. That's another process that applies diffusion. For example, if you talk of plants, we know that plants during the day, they take in carbon four oxide for photosynthesis. But at night, they mainly take in oxygen for respiration. So in this case we are saying that that taking in of gases, carbon four oxide and oxygen occurs by diffusion. So in this case we can say that plants take in carbon four oxide 
for photosynthesis during the day. At night, they take in oxygen. for respiration they take in oxygen for respiration so we can see that the two gases that is oxygen and carbon four oxide are being exchanged by plants by diffusion another point on gaseous exchange is to do with animals animals also need to carry out gaseous exchange across respiratory surfaces for example in humans across the lungs oxygen diffuses into the blood but carbon four oxide diffuses out of the blood so that exchange across the respiratory surface in animals occurs by diffusion so animals take in and out respiratory gases and when you talk of respiratory gases, that is, i.e., oxygen and carbon four oxide, across respiratory surfaces. So, e.g., across the lungs. It's by diffusion. So the same way plants take in gases is the same way animals take in gases by, uh, by, by diffusion. So we have seen two major roles. One is of absorption of materials, whereby we have seen how plants absorb minerals from the soil by diffusion. We have seen how animals absorb digested food uh, from the ileum into the blood. Then the second major function we've seen is the gaseous exchange whereby plants take in carbon four oxide for photosynthesis during the day but at night when there is no photosynthesis that is occurring they take in oxygen for respiration. Then animals take in and out respiratory gases that is oxygen and carbon four oxide across respiratory uh, surfaces. So we are going to have an assignment on what we have already covered uh, today and in the previous subtopics within the topic of cell physiology. So we'll answer four questions as an assignment for today. The first question, state three properties of cell membrane. The second question, explain the term semipermeability. Number three, state and explain three factors that affect the rate of diffusion. And finally, state two roles of diffusion in animals so we are going to stop there for today until the next lesson see you later